Distanz werden einfach immer wie brutaler. Also für 20, 23 Jahre, als ich angefangen habe, habe ich träumt, weiß ich fliege durch die Luft als Superhero und äh, jump from building to building und so weiter. Unterdessen jetzt die Kampfszenen, die sind so brutal und der Unterschied zwischen dem Schauspieler und der Stuntfrau ist der, die kriegen ein softes Küsse. Und wir machen es einfach auf eine knallharte Beton. Hi, my name is uh, Elena Avdia and I'm the di director of a um, documentary called uh, Stand Woman Cascadeuse. It's a film that dives into the lives of uh, three stand women and um, it's about the powerful stuff uh, they do for the magic of cinema, but also it's about the um, kind of um, unseen part that has to do with uh, sexist violence and um, the fascination that cinema has for it. My name is Petra Sprecher. I'm originally from Basel and I'm a stunt woman in Los Angeles for the past 20 years, 23 years already. And luckily enough, Elena has found me on the World Wide Web and has asked me if I wanted to be part of her film. And the answer obviously was yes, immediately. Again, Scorpion. Yep, finish. Nice, that's how we fight. Good, jump up, deadlift, hammer curl, press. Their job is to be invisible because you have to believe the stunt is real. So they are already in the shadow. And then I was asking myself, who is in the shadow of the shadow? <laughs> and so women, right? So uh, I went for them and um, I wanted to uh, find out what is the daily life of a stunt woman. Okay. On va pouvoir passer aux choses sérieuses. On allez. essaye les talons. On va quitter allez, allez. en talons les filles. <rire> ouais, aussi, ouais. C'est une bonne chose. Euh... Oh là là, et hey, ça c'est super chaud. <rire> Ouh là là, putain, mais même à marcher avec, j'arrive même pas. Ça Donc, fait. Ça fait un. Et pas. un, oh, deux, oh. trois. At least for me, but also for other maybe directors, it's like really uh, this thing of um, you know thinking when we write of the people who are going to embody the roles, you know? Thinking of um, the reality of the shoot, because when we write a scene, you never think of the costumes they're going to be wearing, you never think of um, how you're going to film the violence, so we have to find new ways. We have to talk about violence, you know? I, that's, I'm not saying we don't have to show it, but to think of more clever ways to show it. We know that, that uh, cinema fuels, you know, our imagination our imagination, our ways of thinking, of uh, living. That's why we say always, oh, it's like in movies, you know? Because our uh, reference, life reference, is um, weirdly comes from uh, that collective imagination that is uh, films and TV shows and stuff like that. So obviously, yes, there is an impact on uh, how uh, issues are represented on screen and how they uh, tend to um, Comment tu dis un peu uh, to, uh, to flow into mm -hmm. real life, you know? That's why uh, I don't know. That's why it was interesting for me to to ask this, you know? Like, yes, life is more more difficult for women, yes, but cinema amplifies that violence, and then it has also an impact in our real real lives. So there, it's a vicious circle that we need to break. And you know, they have so mad skills that it's really a shame to work with them only to have like uh, roles where they get beaten and stuff because they're crazy they can do like uh, crazy stuff so yeah i'm all for a new action cinema that empowers the uh, you know stunt women <laughs>